critical thinking skills, such as problem solving, for example, are higher order thinking skills. They're not completely different from the basic thinking skills, but a combination of basic skills used in a specific way. When we try to solve a problem, for example, we first of all need to observe carefully what the symptoms of the problem are. We need to use our senses in an accurate way to do that and focus on what we can hear, see and feel, for example. We need the ability to focus our attention and we need to be aware of the outcome we want to achieve. We might need creativity and the ability to look at the problem from different perspectives in order to find the solution. We might need to come up with alternative strategies if what we are planning to do turns out to be an inadequate strategy. When we finally carried out our plan, we need to evaluate what we've done and if necessary go back and undo what we've done or apply an alternative strategy. When a child gets used to systematically applying her thinking skills in such a way, she'll go through positive learning experiences and she'll gradually learn to enjoy more challenging tasks. In consequence, her self-confidence will grow. Here's an example of how we can get children to use higher order thinking skills from the very beginning. This is an activity for five or six year olds from the starter book of Superminds. The teacher starts by reviewing a lexical set, food. The children listen and point at the pictures of words such as orange juice, sweets, sausages, carrot soup, salad and so on. The teacher then asks them to imagine that they are going to have a class party. Students should choose 10 out of the 15 items and circle them. Once they've done that, they say sentences such as I like orange juice or I don't like crisps. The students are then asked to select five foods they like and rank them by drawing these five food items in the order of their preference. This requires quite a bit of thinking. Students need to compare the different items and they need to organize what they know about those foods based on their own life experiences. That requires focusing their attention and they need to pay attention to detail. Finally, when they've organized what they know and remember about these foods, they need to make decisions. And that's a higher order thinking skill required in many real life situations. Superminds actually offers on a regular basis sets of activities under the heading learn and think. The content of these pages offers real-life relevance. In this particular case, a topic from social science on how to lead a healthy life. In this example from Superminds 1, the children start by reading a short piece of information on what's important to lead a healthy life. Having fun, eating healthily, keeping fit, doing sport, learning and sleeping. Students are then asked to answer three questions before they categorize various activities as healthy or unhealthy. Of course there can be various possible ways of categorizing, so students have to think carefully. Watching TV, for example, is in itself not particularly healthy or unhealthy but it can become unhealthy depending on the number of hours someone spends in front of the telly. This is the sort of thing that the children can explore with their teacher. Then they continue by asking each other questions about how many hours they spend on average doing various activities. This requires quite a bit of reflective thinking, comparing, analyzing, and estimating. 
Finally, they learn to make a bar chart, which they use to present the results of their interview to the class. So they are learning presentation skills, which also helps them to gain more self-confidence when using the newly learned language.